can't get on me. I might jump on the stage with a stick on me. Every corner back with me, got a pick on him. Every Glock in it big, got a dick on it. How you watching my live, won't click on it. I'm a butt on the roll and no tick on it. They ain't tell you about rule, I got a kick on me. I just pray that my dog don't switch on me. What's going on with y'all family? Reset TV, this is gravitating away. Now, I find it interesting, all of this backlash with the Cormani McLean situation with Colorado and Coach Prime. But I want you guys to check out um, Uncle Neely, who's deeply invested and affiliated with Coach Prime and the Buffs. You know, you might as well call him Coach. He comes out and speak out. Mind you, mind you guys, he's not the only coach talking. And basically, I hate using this word and term, but hey, it's not endearing, but they're exposing him. And I just want you guys to check this out. Before we do anything, let's address this real quick. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor. Trying to break this algorithm, deleted all my videos to get monetized, and I did. And I appreciate y'all for still rocking with me. But go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But more than anything, more than your dollars, I just want your attention. So we're going to play this clip and come back with the commentary. Hey, hey, let me tell you, we can't leave out of this. We can't leave out of the, the, the Kamani McLean part of this. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I've seen statements from, from guys, and he's saying things like, you know, he wanted to go to a program that wasn't click-based. Yeah. You know... Let me tell you what I witnessed. I have witnessed a head coach who goes well out of his way to not tell what he could tell about these players. Uh, he leaves a lot of it up to interpretation. A lot of it is just like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Let them fade, wish them well. But when you have somebody say things like that, and let me testify what I witnessed, right? I've been in a team meeting, Jay, and Coach Prime says, come on, you're gonna start this weekend. But here's what I need for you to start. You got to be on time for meetings this week. You got to watch so many minutes of the film and you got to show up at practice. The guy hits a trifecta in doing none of them. You're told this like on a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. And you miss, you check every box of what not to do. It's crazy, man. But then you leave and say, well, I want to go to a program that's you know, not about clicks. I, <laughs> you got Kevin Mathis. Deion Sanders, now Robert Livingston, what cornerback would not want to thrive in that system? It's a great question. And honestly, I think you just look at the offers that Cormani McLean's gotten so yeah. far. No real serious P5 offers. There was some interest, but it's all USF, uh, UCF, who is power four now, sure. uh, and Memphis. So yeah. I think the word is out there. What happened here with Cormani McLean and Coach Prime in this program? Now, what I found interesting with all of this after, you know, Uncle Neely spoke, he addressed some of the issues that I'm sure some of you were, you know, pondering as well. Like, you know, could it have been that Prime didn't do Cormani bad as, you know, some folks would claim? You know, us folks, you know, black folks. We, we always got to, you know, it got to be toxic. It got to be drama. It can't be that the kid didn't put, well, you know, kid is a baby goat, but the young man didn't put in all the tools, use the tools he was given, put in the necessary work. I don't even think it's even about going over and beyond. I think he just wasn't, you know, up to par. He wasn't putting in basic work. As you hear, Neely is basically sounding like he's offended that Cormani, who hasn't had an exit strategy video, and he basically threw the entire Colorado organization under the buff, under the bus, Coach Prime under the bus, and by default, your ex-teammates and your ex assistant coaches i mean that's what he did regardless of how we feel about prime cormani colorado that's what cormani did and you see just to up up you know up the ante real quick i wouldn't even care so much about what happened with colorado and cormani's departure but watching him sit down and give a video his take on why he's leaving the program and just in case if you didn't see it Check this out real quick. Change the narrative of everyone's thinking on my name. Be a part of a real and a great program that's going to impact me at my best ability. And yeah, ready to get to a new place and get to work. Yeah, I feel like I just don't want to play for clicks. I actually want to be involved with a great leading program that's going to develop players. With that being said, that'll wrap up all the questions asked from you guys. Change. 
So you're basically, you know, you just heard Cormani saying, I want to go to a real program, basically somewhere he could get developed uh, better. I don't know how Colorado is in a real program. They are a D1 school. They have historical lineage in NCAA football. I don't understand what Cormani's talking about. Maybe it's not the most prestigious college you wanted to go to. Hey, I'm from Florida, down here in South Florida. Maybe, you know, the things that caught your eye in terms of eye candy was Miami Hurricanes, Florida State, Florida Gators, etc. But for whatever reason, Cormani, you yourself and your mother bought into the hype of a uh, coach prime and by the way that's no shade but i'm almost in the part of thinking that you guys bought in into nil i'm sure there were underhand things going on that's just me and my opinions but you chose to go to colorado cormani miami had an entire package deal waiting for you now come to find out and here's the sad part everybody said you know coach prime is losing recruits and other players are transferring out of there but here's the thing with Cormani and I'm only speaking about Cormani we'll do videos on other players here's the thing about Cormani I don't think he understands when you have a guy like coach prime you got a coach Mathis out there several other coaches of notoriety and other people who are affiliated with the program that have their own cachet when it comes to name you don't think they're connected with other coaches around the football world in terms of NCAA and this country you don't think people start talking other coaches start asking questions before they offer you anything and that brings me to this Cormani ba barely has any top tier level program asking for his services sure he's from Florida so you're gonna get the typical nods of the UCFs no offense UCF you're gonna get like the FAUs but you know who's not calling on Cormani right now FSU UF Miami they're also Florida schools they're not knocking on Cormani's door because here's the thing coach prime is from Florida guys if you don't know that not just because he went to Florida State he's a Florida boy he is well connected with a lot of coaches out there guys so they're gonna get the first hand knowledge of why things didn't work out with Cormani so what do you think happens dude you literally have a bad reputation now whether it's warranted or not, that's how it goes. And I'm willing to bet the way you threw that entire program under the bus, including Coach Prime, is the reason why you're not even getting that much callbacks right now. I wish he does because Cormani seems like he got taller. I think he's a solid 6'3", y'all. Solid 6'3", been putting on some weight. So what's the problem? I think he didn't buy in to the work ethic that comes when you're dealing with a Coach Prime. Now, is there some issues with the Colorado coaching staff? I'm sure there is. I'm one of the biggest critics on that. But the way you exited and Mama Bear, i.e. his mother, is continuing to protect her son. And that's cool. Every Mama Bear got to protect her cub. But look, Cormani is a young man now. Mom, sometimes stay away from social media and tell your son, start looking in that mirror it'll do wonders once you realize you're the problem who cares even if coach prime was a problem but guess what you gotta handle this on your own now the weight of the world is on your shoulders because guess what people are saying watch Cormani go ball out because you left you even said you'd rather go to a real program dude that's all the shade in the world somebody could say about you know a hyped up program like Colorado a guy like coach prime who went on this marketing uh tour about your name I mean he was all Chuck E. Cheese smiles about you just for you to say that trust me people are going to want to know what's the real tea on how you left why you left and what did you do to gain any type of respect when it comes to starting you didn't that's crazy that these coaches are coming out now um whether we think it's right or wrong all i'm talking about it will affect cormani moving forward it will what say y'all in the comment section let me meet y'all there but this is crazy to me